Welcome to Training Minutes. I'm Steve White, instructor with Advanced Rescue Solutions. In this scenario, we're going to utilize a high pressure airbag to push object apart. Typically, we use airbags to lift, but another application is pushing heavy objects apart. Here we have a simulated arm that's trapped between two heavy blocks. We're going to bring in a high pressure bag. We're going to wedge as we spread and free the trapped arm. We're taking advantage of the gap that's already provided between the concrete blocks. We're going to clean out to get the bag as far in between the blocks as possible. Very important yeah, to see that? that we're also wedging at the up top. Good clear commands from the bag Stop on red. rescuer to the operator. And as we expand the two objects, we continue to wedge down. When we utilize the airbags and a vertical lift, some of the challenges that rescuers face is getting a purchase point tall enough in order to get the bags under. Here, we're using a modified spreader to get underneath the block to gain a purchase point. We utilize the wood base to help get a wider spreading distance on the bottom tip of the spreader. As we lift, we're cribbing, so we maintain the lift that we've gained. On a soft surface, you may have to use multiple wedges so the block does not go back down any further. Airbag. Once we have enough space for the airbag, we clean out and place the bag. Again, as we raise, we crib and follow underneath. Nice controlled lift, cribbing as we raise. Now we're going to deflate the bag, reposition to maximize our lifting capability on the bag. Okay, up on red. Now we've been able to achieve a lift and crib stabilize in place. As you can see, we can apply the airbags in a different application by pushing objects apart. Also, utilizing the Homatro power wedge, we can gain a purchase point large enough to get the airbags underneath to do a vertical lift. Thank you for watching this segment of Training Minutes, and thank you to Homatro for sponsoring them.